smooth, creamy lemon curd is a versatile topping or filling for so many different desserts. You can spoon it onto cookies, you can layer it between cakes, put it in tarts and trifles. The possibilities are nearly endless. And even though it's easy to make at home, it has a reputation for being tricky because it's prone to curdling. Well, in this video, I'll show you an unusual method for making lemon curd that's so silky and smooth, you won't even need to strain it. Most lemon curd recipes have you start by cooking together lemon juice, sugar, and beaten eggs until nice and thick and then slowly adding in butter. It's an easy method, but you run the risk of ending up with little bits of scrambled egg in your lemon curd. And in fact, most recipes have you strain the curd at the end to get rid of any little bits of egg. Well, this method prevents those little bits from forming at all. The trick is to combine your ingredients as if you're baking a cake. So I'm gonna put one cup of sugar in my bowl and I've got six tablespoons of room temperature softened butter. And I'm just gonna beat these together until they're nice and smooth. After the sugar and the butter have been combined, this looks great, now it's time for the eggs. So I'm gonna add two whole eggs and two egg yolks. You wanna add your eggs one at a time and beat after each addition. And now for the yolks. So this looks nice and smooth. Now it's time for the lemon juice. I've got two thirds of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, great. Now, don't worry. At this point, your mixture is gonna look curdled, but I promise you, as soon as we get it on the heat, it's gonna smooth right out. So I'm just gonna transfer this to a medium pot. And I'm gonna place this over low heat. Now just stir this until it gets nice and smooth. Now that the mixture is nice and smooth, I'm gonna turn up the heat to medium and I'm gonna cook it stirring constantly until it thickens. It'll take about 15 minutes. Now the reason this method works so well is that by adding the butter early in the process, we coat those proteins from the egg in fat, and that helps to prevent them from coagulating into hard little bits once the acid from the lemon juice is introduced. Once this starts to thicken, I find it's easier to switch to a heat-proof silicone spatula. The spatula also allows you to get into the corners where the curd can overcook. And you do want to monitor the heat. The curd should never come to a boil. You'll know that your curd is ready when you're able to run your finger across the spoon and it leaves a nice steady trail. So at this point, I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna add some lemon zest. Now the lemon zest is just gonna punch up the flavor, but if you wanna keep a really, really smooth texture, you don't need to add it. This already has a lot of lemon flavor. Now I'm just gonna transfer this to a bowl to chill. And don't worry if at this point it looks a little thin to you, it'll continue to thicken as it cools. Now you wanna cover this with plastic wrap before you put it in the fridge, and you wanna put the plastic wrap directly on the surface of the lemon curd. That's going to prevent a skin from forming. Now my lemon curd is chilled, and you'll notice how much it's thickened up. It's got a really beautiful, smooth texture, and I think I have to just give it a taste. So I've got a little cookie, a little lemon curd. Mmm. It is really perfect. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's brimming with lemon flavor, and honestly, it's the smoothest lemon curd you'll ever make. 